Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, lecture number two in session two of multiple sequence alignment. Uh, of course, we will go more deep in uh, JAL view. Uh, so today we'll talk about JAL navigation in cursor mode uh, in JAL view. First, uh, we have some points to remember uh, that JAL view is uh, for editing and visualization and sequence alignment. It really helps uh, people who work uh, with uh, many sequences and would like to edit or visualize or align sequences. It has many good features like tree building, principal component analysis, physiochemical property, conservation, uh, a lot of uh, good uh, 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 good uh, application that can be, uh, some of them will be used in this module and uh, other can be used in other modules also. So. Uh, so that's why uh, some of it in, in, uh, we will talk about it uh, and it will help you in other uh, in other applications also uh, it has a web service uh, uh, tab that give you uh, access to uh, remote alignment uh, our secondary structure prediction programs and stuff like this um, uh, also, uh, it can, you can grab of course annotation over the internet uh, and uh, it has uh, a link to uh, Gmall, uh, and it, it can make uh, structure displays, uh, of course, and tree uh, tree viewer cluster display cluster the display, and uh, exploration of many things like alignment structure and uh, other things. Uh, and it's very very good uh, and helpful to produce uh, uh, and generate. Uh, high quality figures uh, that can be useful in publication um, and that's why um, of, of course uh, as we said it, it's helping in sequences alignment trees structure features and uh, alignment annotation maybe also be exchanged with local file system and that's the good thing so you can use all that and and uh, exchange it with a local file system um, it has many uh, multiple uh, visualization actually of an alignment uh, by working uh, at the same time uh, with uh, the user interface provides comprehensive set of control for coloring and layout and uh, many other things as we will see uh, later uh, on the other lectures so uh, you can uh, the desktop gel view as we uh, recommend I recommend the desktop gel view it's more powerful than the uh, uh, online uh, gel view the web gel view because it has many additional uh, features and uh, an additional support for interaction with external web services for example and it also capable for production of uh, uh, good or uh, high quality uh, graphics that is very useful will be very useful for uh, publication uh, when gel view start uh, it's automatically load as we see uh, the example which were good and helpful very very helpful uh, uh, from uh, this side but it's also this behavior if somebody uh, would like to change this behavior he can just go to uh, tools menu and uh, pick preferences and uh, open uh, file menu uh, uh, open file and he can choose open file he can check on open file or not uh, or uncheck it so this uh, option can help you either to open the example or not open uh, the example so um, and uh, of course the example is very helpful for people who start uh, who just started to work with gel view and would like to have an example to see the capability of gel view but if you already know that and you would like to apply uh, what you know on your own sequence so you don't need to to see this example again so you just open tools preferences and then uh, choose open file uh, uh, the R RSS feed, which is the news, uh, also uh, in the beginning of job view, you can see this news. Uh, you can, if you would like not to show that again, you just pick, uh, click in tools menu and then show job view seed. You can check it or uncheck it to see or not to see uh, the job view uh, news. 
uh, help, I, I, I recommend you uh, to check the help if you need any, uh, to see any appropriate topic. Uh, simply you go to select help and then documentation. And of course, uh, it, it's really, uh, you can see many topics and you can check uh, in, the, uh, in the navigation panel on the left side. You can pick up your uh, appropriate topic, a specific topic, and then uh, read about it. Or uh, click search in the top here and you can just uh, uh, choose whatever keyword you want about whatever topic you would like to uh, look for. Email list, uh, if you would like to subscribe to email list uh, to uh, in JALVIEW to receive email uh, from uh, discussion about JALVIEW uh, or new announcement or something, you can send. If you would like to have emails about this different discussion about utilization of JALVIEW, problems of JALVIEW, whatever, you can send email uh, to, this, uh, uh, to this address, you will receive email about discussion on JALVIEW. If you would like to know new announcement of JALVIEW, you can just send email to this uh, to this email address. Um, and of course, you will get something like this. You, if you, when you send email, you will get something like this. This this thing uh, is it's like a confirmation email that your email have been subscribed uh, to the mailing list of, for example, JALVIEW announce, and uh, you will get any new announcement in uh, uh, that appear on JALVIEW website. Uh, so uh, now you have to load, if you would like to load your own sequence. In this case, you have many uh, possibility, many options that help you to uh, upload uh, your sequence. Simply, you have you can drag and drop. Uh, number two is from file and, or from URL or cut and paste or uh, the last option is from public database. The many option will check one by one. Um, of course, drag and drop, this is very easy one. Everyone can drag his sequence in the right format, of course, have to be right format, means that you have to put it in faster format or any uh, applicable format. Um, so you can drag it and drop it in the gel view application window. And it's very simple and uh, work very fine. Of course, in the, sa the same thing, you can do it with uh, a URL. If you have a URL that have uh, your sequence you just drag and drop your uh, URL uh, simply uh, and the, uh, this will work too so this is the first uh, first way to uh, enter your sequence into JALVIEW just by drag and drop the second one is from file simply you can open file and then input alignment and then check from file from file you can, of course, as we said before, you have to put uh, your text file, not word processor file. So you have to put it in the right format. If you put your sequences in the right format uh, uh, in the text file, you can just uh, put it very easily by uh, this uh, uh, option. Uh, you don't. You cannot, of course, as we said, you cannot uh, put uh, HTML uh, alignment or graphics. Uh, I drag it and drop it. But here in the URL, you can put the URL that have uh, your sequence in the right format, and it will work uh, very well. Uh, the last one is a cut and paste, which is from text uh, text box. Uh, simply, you can cut or copy your sequence and paste it. Uh, here, when you choose this uh, uh, this choice from text box, it will, it will open a window. You just copy and paste your sequence in this window, and it will work very fine. Uh, but uh, and uh, and then it will work, and everything can we will be fine. You have another option which is very good in, in gel view. If you know the sequence uh, number. If you know the, the accession numbers, you just uh, can open file uh, here, the, the menu, file menu, and you just select file and then fetch sequences. Fetch sequences, you just have to put here the accession numbers. So in our example, last example that we was talking about uh, yesterday we just you can just copy your sequences what you are looking for and just press uh, fetch sequences 
uh, it will open a window like this uh, and just you can put your sequences and choose whatever window or whatever database you would like to search uh, from the from this uh, right window and in the left you can put your uh, uh, accession number uh, uh, and just separate it by semicolon and press ok this or retrieve this will retrieve uh, the, the sequences from the choosing database uh, you can try this uh, uh, exercise in your own time uh, just to open and uh, and and uh, try to close the windows and see uh, and of course this exercise will help you to uh, practice a little bit how to use different features uh, on gel uh, view or sometime or in this example for example you can retrieve uh, a sequence from database and uh, click OK and see how this will work also very fine. Uh, now we will go to the interesting part of this lecture it's about navigation navigation is very important part uh, in Java view because it gives you the option to navigate by cursor mode or by uh, 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 by mouse mode uh, normal mode which is using the mouse uh, it's, uh, it's you can just use the mouse click and uh, get whatever you would like to see because it is UI so uh, you, uh, so uh, you simply can go by the mouse over any uh, thing like normal window and then uh, get what you want but using cursor this is also for for people who have like to use cursor mode uh, people are experienced with, with using cursor modes so you and you can switch between normal mode and cursor mode by f2 key you just press f2 you can switch from this to that uh, uh, just always start up in normal mode and you can as you said you can uh, drag work horizontally uh, by just scrolling the bars or vertically by scrolling the the, uh, the bars on the left uh, left hand side and and so on so uh, you simply can also you can uh, if you have a large uh, alignment and you would like to overview the whole thing in a small uh, small window or something you just can uh, click on view and then overview window choose overview window it will give you a small window uh, and this window uh, the, the, uh, will show you everything in your alignment the shaded part is the hidden part in your sequence the 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 the, the, the red box will show you the the place where is you can you are seeing right now in your alignment what I mean is so this overview it gives you an overview about the whole uh, alignment if it's a large and you cannot see it in one screen something like this so you can you can uh, this is uh, the red box show you that uh, whatever between this inside this red box that's what you see in your screen right now but the other part uh, the shaded part indicates rows and column that is hidden you cannot see it uh, in your screen right now so you, you have to drag and see the drag uh, your uh, red box you can drag it using the, your mouse uh, and then you can move uh, around and navigate around the alignment by dragging this red box uh, you can close the windows as we said that you can if you if you have many windows and it's really bother you to work with many windows at the same time or um, so in, in this case you can open the, uh, the the menu window and just press close all so in this case it will close all uh, the windows and as we said before you can uh, 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 navigate or switch between normal mode and uh, uh, cursor mode using f2 uh, in, in, in normal mode you work with mouse as we said and uh, but experienced users uh, like to use uh, cursor mode in this case you can switch to uh, f2 cursor mode you can use the arrows and instead of using the the mouse you can move between the residues you uh, and your alignment using the arrows uh, different as um, up down right left all these arrows can be used to move around uh, inside your uh, sequences uh, there is some uh, uh, some specific position uh, uh, 
a list of, of rapid movement to specific positions uh, simply you can if you would like to jump uh, to a sequence uh, you just press s so you type the number of the sequence and for, for example you would like to go to sequence n so p p press uh, the type the number of the sequence like for example four and then press s so you go to sequence number four if you go to column number four you just press four and then c this means that you, you will go to column number four so if you want to go to residue inside uh, inside the sequence residue number uh, four you press four and then p this will go to position number four which is the residue number four uh, if you would like to go uh, to combine you would like to go to uh, column number four and then uh, and row number four this will be uh, four and then uh, a comma and then uh, four again and then return this will take you to column number four, uh, uh, sequence number four, column number four, uh, res uh, and then uh, you go uh, whatever, whatever you want. So, and then after this, press return. Uh, uh, a further option of navigation, of course, if you would like to find uh, a specific sequence, if you have a multiple 50 sequence, 100 sequence, and you already have aligned, and you would like to search or find uh, a specific sequence uh, or a specific uh, uh, expression, you just entered whatever you are looking for, for example, Q9, and then you find, you he will find the sequence that starts with Q9. So, uh, and then of course, if there is another one start with Q9, just find next and next and next until you get what you're looking for. So, uh, this exercise also you can um, uh, try it in your own time. It will help you to see and, and navigate between different sequences and uh, it will help you uh, to uh, look, uh, to use cursor mode in a better and efficient uh, way. Uh, as a professional uh, user thank you for listening in this lecture and uh, hoping uh, to see you in the next lectures uh, in this module uh, for uh, gel view and getting more experience using gel view thank you